The shout of a team that has just returned from representing their country after a successful career of the games. Team manager G. Hugh Gordon is proud of his young Chargers and wants them to continue fighting while calling for continued support for the group. But what we need to do really is to understand that the future lies here in the youth of Trinidad and Tobago and we cannot wait until they are successful. We need to make sure that the facilities are in place for them to train. Right? There are many obstacles that are in place. Carifta 2025 is at home next year in Trinidad and Tobago. Don't wait till the last minute to come on board to support these at least. We are continuously building. We are seeing an uptick and uh, just a great energy with these youths here these days. Long jumper Janine DeGant was named top athlete at the Games winning the Austin Silly Award that comes with it. An accomplishment that is yet to sink in and it came as a surprise to her. I was, you know, I didn't expect it. You know, I always wanted to get the award, but when I, when I, when they came out, I said, Johnny, you got the award, like, oh my gosh, you know, I was in so much trouble. Janine says her goal was to go after the Carifta record, which she set on her first jump in the competition. While she's also looking ahead to the World Youth Championships in Peru in August. I like to you know, always have my competitors feeling uncomfortable and yeah, so that was the plan. <laughs> the medal and hopefully get the gold medal there as well. Meanwhile, Jenny says she's proud of the effort of her teammates who together won 27 medals for their country. I'm really proud of the team, you know, we came out over the three days and really push ourselves. So I'm proud of everyone. You know, some of them did a medal. They really went out there and showed true heart and I'm really proud of them. So congratulations to everyone who were on the team. Kent Fuentes, TTT Sports.